So we moved out here to the country a few months ago. Something we've been fighting since we got here is the well. We've shocked that thing so many times. I had a company that was shocking it, and then I just found out how to shock it and realized they were doing it completely wrong. Go figure. But anyway, after we shock it, the smell will go away for a while. Maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month, but then it always returns. And something I've noticed is that a majority of the time, it's the hot water. The cold water, you turn it on, you're smelling it, it's okay. You turn on the hot water. <coughs> so after doing a little bit of research, I found out that there's a magnesium type anode that sits down there in the water heater. And that's having like a chemical reaction with the other crap in the water, which is causing the water to smell. So when you do dishes, it's, it's like you're, you're scrubbing the bottom of a toilet thing. But anyway, so what we're gonna do today, we're going to replace that with a stainless, no, no, an aluminum anode. So we're gonna switch out the anode rod. They literally advertise this thing on Amazon as like to take care of that stinky smell, the rotten egg smell. Uh, this kit comes with, comes with the, does this one fit? I hope so. I'll check here. It comes with the socket, 27 millimeter socket and anode rod. This is what it looks like. I think these are pretty universal. I hope I got the right one. Yeah, so it basically sits like that inside your, your water heater and it just helps it to, this takes the abuse and your water heater doesn't. Also comes with some Teflon tape. So what I'm gonna do to get started on this, I'm gonna start by shutting off the water so I can empty out. I'm just gonna empty out and roll a little bit of water out of here and then we're gonna pop this thing open and then take out the old one and put the new one in. So I got a hose, we'll hook up the hose and get started. So I don't know, uh, my water heater if it came with a little spigot handle, but I don't see one, so we're just gonna use a flat screwdriver to just drain out a real little bit of this water. Hopefully I can get it with this. Should be draining. Alright, so we got some of the water drained. I probably just drained just a real little bit. It's gonna be under this little plastic seal. And under that seal, you basically got, it's like a spray foam type insulation. I just got a screwdriver here. We'll just kind of cut that insulation out. So there's the bolt in there we got to take out. I'm going to save all this foam and kind of try to shove it back in there when I'm done and put the plastic cap on. Uh, looks like I'm going to need an extension. Let's see if it's the right size. Yep, seems to be. I got a little breaker bar here. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. Might need to get an impact. Man, that thing's really in there. I'm gonna try to some WD-40. Oh, it's, it's still stuck. Oh, we're, okay. There we go. 
Here we... Please tell me I can get this thing all the way out. <laughs> How much further do we need to go though? I'm going to have to cut this. Because I don't have the clearance to... Well, I'm just going to use this little uh, angle grinder with the cutoff wheel. I'm going to clamp it with a pair of vice grips so when it gets cut it doesn't drop back in. Because then we'll really be in a pickle. I should do it right there. It looked like I cut through that wire, didn't it? All right, so the people who designed this obviously thought a little bit more about getting them out. Let's compare sizes real quick. All right, well, I'm kind of glad I put these up next to each other. I, I knew I had a smaller water heater and it looks like this is about two inches or so longer. So I'm just gonna take these snips and we're just gonna have a, a three Three piece anode. Hopefully, these cut snips will do it. There we go. So, we'll just put this one in there now. Looks to be about two inches short, but I think that'd be the trick. We'll take some Teflon tape. Put it on here for good seal. She's good. I put uh, some of this foam in here that's left over. Provide a little bit more insulation. Put this cap back on. All right. After trying to get that bolt out and yanking this thing all around and cutting that thing off and almost cutting my fingers and the cord off, we finally got it back on. I'm filling it up with water. I don't see any leaks. And the water stopped running, so we should be good. The ultimate test is though, does our water still smell like? No smell at all. Like not even the slightest of a smell. Yeah, so we, after I changed out the uh, that part, we drained out all the water. Well, we just opened up it and let new water go into there. Let it get hot again. There's not, it's gone. It's gone. If you got this problem, check your water heaters and change it. It's definitely worth it.